Holiday. The model is the Osborne Firefinder and it's made in Portland, Oregon. It is used to locate a fire and then determine where it is on a map. I'm going to be showing you some of the parts. It has a back sight with a sliding vertical peep sight which is used to determine the vertical angle. And then it has a front sight with upper and lower crosshairs. And then it has the handle which is used to rotate the rotating ring. Then we have the azimuth, which is used to determine degrees. And then we have the vernier, which is used to determine the minutes. In the middle is the map, and on the map is a metal tape. In the middle of the map is where our lookout is, and the tape goes from the lookout. This is used to determine the distance from the lookout to objects. The whole alidade rests on these sliding tracks, which allows you to slide the entire alidade to make it so you can sight around objects in the lookout. We're going to imagine that we've spotted a fire out there and we've sighted it through the sights and the first thing we need to do is determine our azimuth. I'm going to show you how to do that. So here is our zero point and we start at 70 degrees and we go to 71, 72, then it's in between 72, 73. So now we have to go to the Vernier and determine the minutes. So we're going to go along here and see which of these lines lines up from the Vernier with the azimuth. And it lines up with 20, so it's 20 minutes. So it's 72 degrees in 20 minutes. I'm going to explain how to use the vertical scale on Melody. I have attached a string to help show you where you are looking when you are sighting through the back peep sight. So you have a side for what's above, for looking above the lookout, and a side for looking at what's below the lookout. If you are at on the side for above the lookout and you're at the zero, that will be in line with the upper crosshair. And if you move peep sight um, down the scale, the more you move it down, the more you look up. For the side looking down, if you're at zero and you look through the peep sight, and you will line that up with the lower crosshair, and that will be level with the lookout. And if you move the peep sight up, the more you are looking down from the lookout. I'm going to explain how to use the metal tape on the Alidate. Metal tape is used to determine distances from the lookout to points on the map. The lookout is directly at zero in the center of the map. If we wanted to figure out how far away Divide Mountain is from the lookout, we would have to find out the scale of the map. We know that half an inch is equal to one mile. So if we look at the metal tape, it is five inches to Divide Mountain, so that we know that two miles is in each inch. So that means Divide Mountain is 10 miles away from Wilco. In order to ensure that your alidate is most accurate, you need to make sure that it is level every day. The way that you do that is, you take this level right here, 
and you put on 45 degrees and on 225 degrees and if that's not level you'll use the leveling screws here and here to adjust it until it's level and then you will put the level on 135 degrees and on 315 degrees and if that's not level you will adjust it using the leveling screws here and here. Sometimes when you're sliding through the Allidade, objects in the lookout will get in the way, such as a stovepipe or window spacers. When that happens, you have to slide the entire Allidade on the tracks. If that doesn't work, you can pick it up and move it onto the next set of tracks.